What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We have a few exciting stories here for you today, one of which is going to be a new world record for not only the lightweight strong women, but also the middleweight class as well. So we have Rhiannon Lovelace. She is a lightweight strong woman who blew away the competition on her deadlift about a week ago now. She set a new world record pulling an astounding 573 pounds. That is absolutely insane. Coming from a lightweight strong woman myself, I can't even fathom that much weight. I've probably pulled right around the 270 to 275 pound range, and that was just a sumo. That wasn't even conventional. So the mere thought of lifting 573 stinking pounds is mind boggling. So let's go ahead and give her a huge congratulations because that is absolutely just insane. Now moving down the line in our strong women here today, we have Dana Lynn Bailey giving a try to the log. It looks like she was in Mexico at a convention where she decided to pick up this log and give it a shot. Now I cannot find the weight of the log so if anybody has it please put it in the comments below. It does look like it is probably a men's log which is probably around like the 12 inch range um, and when I say the 12 inches that means around. So a women's log is generally a little bit smaller. So if this is a men's log, I can't be 100% sure, but if it is, um, you're probably looking like right around like the 120 to 140 pound range empty. Now again, that is a uh, pure estimate just going off of what other um, 12 inch logs roughly weigh. Depending on where you buy them from, um, you're probably going to get a variance of weight. But the 10 inch log for women does generally weigh less than 100 pounds. So just to kind of give you an idea, the log press itself is different than your ordinary pressing. So when you are pressing a barbell, you are just going straight up and overhead. But the log itself, the diameter of it is so wide, trying to get it underneath your chin, you have to lean back farther than you would as if you were uh, just pressing a regular barbell. So leaning back, getting it set underneath your chin, and then being able to press it up and overhead, getting your face out of the way so you don't break your teeth out. There's a a little bit of a trick to it. It's it's not terribly difficult, but it is different. Good job, Dana Lynn Bailey, on that, crushing that log. It is definitely not an easy feat. Now, last but not least, we have to talk about the men just a little bit. So about a week, week and a half ago, we had the world's strongest man where Martin Lises took home first place, which is a huge, huge accomplishment. He's kind of been the underdog because he's much smaller, he's a little bit shorter than these guys, but he still kicks some major butt. As soon as anything changes that causes such a big uproar, like Martin winning the world's strongest man and him being a smaller strong man than what we're used to seeing, uh, it's only fair that we see Brian Shaw trying to drop a little bit of weight. Welcome to my weight loss journey, if you want to call it that. So I have a little bit of the statistics here. We have Brian Shaw right now weighing in right around the 440 pound range. He is six foot eight inches tall. Then we have Thor who is just a monster in itself. He is six foot nine, roughly about the 410 to 440 pound range. But then we have retired strongman Eddie Hall, which is on the shorter side. He's six three and about 350 pounds, give or take. And he's actually recently lost a bunch of weight, so he is looking fantastic. But we have Martine, who is six three as well, so right about the same height as uh, Eddie Hall. But he's right around 350 pounds, so. He did not have to lose weight because he is a smaller guy. It has kind of taken the world by storm because we are used to these huge massive monsters like Shaw and Thor taking home first place and these guys are well over 400 pounds. They are massive, massive men. They're as tall as your, your pro basketball players around the 6'8", 6'9", 7 foot range and so we're not used to the shorter guys such as Martin taking home first place and being on the smaller side. So I'm kind of curious to see how it kind of progresses over the next few months to see if these bigger guys are going to try and tone down their mass a little bit to kind of make them more agile, which I think is an excellent idea. You have to have that power, but you also have to have the athleticism to go along with the sport as well. So sometimes being huge and massive can kind of work against you in, in such events like the moving events. All right, guys, as usual, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Drop in the comments below, what do you guys think about all of these massive monsters dropping a few pounds? Do you think it's in their best interest? Do you think it'll work against them in the long run? Go ahead, let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you guys next time.